When you're setting up your uh, control system and you want to rig the ailerons, the, the very first step is to go ahead and center the stick. It's a little bit difficult because of the offset stick, but the best way is probably to measure side to side and get your stick right in the center. Then the second step when you're doing your hookup is to go ahead and, and attach your center carry through turnbuckle, which is back buried up underneath here under the headliner. Uh, if, if you do a pre-assembly rigging, then it'll be a lot easier to get to the very first time. But it's easy enough to do after the upholstery is done, and you'll be able to get that there. So that's the second step. Get your, get your um, carry-through cable inter interconnect and that turnbuckle uh, hooked together. Okay, that's that. Okay, the third step is to set up your... Uh, aileron push rod and your and your belt crank and you want those in neutral so with your interconnect cable carry through cable together get these so that and you can clamp this and hold it so that the turnbuckle is I'm sorry the belt crank is uh, absolutely perpendicular to the action so uh, that's about the correct position for the turnbuckle or the belt crank right there The next step with uh, rigging the ailerons is, of course, go ahead and get your ailerons installed and get those set up. You want to work with your, your little push rod up there at about four and a quarter inches is your best setting for that. And um, so install your ailerons on both sides and then um, set them up in neutral. So you can use a simple little clamp, any kind of device to hold your aileron. And, and that'll hold, hold that in neutral and set both of your ailerons at neutral. Now you've got um, your stick is in neutral, your interconnect cable is uh, pulled up and you've got your bell cranks set at neutral and your little push rod length is at four and a quarter and you can set those in and, and uh, set the bolt on those. Though it's probably better to just put the bolt in and just leave the nut off because you may have to adjust the length of the push rod a little bit. Okay, after we've got our ailerons all set at neutral, then come back into your uh, aileron control turnbuckles up here and tighten those up and snug them up. You don't want anything uh, too extremely tight. You just want it snug and get both sides uh, brought, uh, brought up and tightened up so that they're, everything is snug and um, uh, at about the approximate right tension, correct tension, uh, which again, is you don't want it too tight, but uh, obviously you don't want it sloppy either. Then, then you can undo your aileron um, clamps, holding your ailerons at neutral, and go ahead and check your travel, and you're gonna, want, you're gonna be able to move the stick back and forth, and you want uh, the, the correct dimensions are 20 degrees up aileron and 19 and a half degrees down. Now we can show that. Yeah, this amount of dimension, right, as I've got it here, is about your 20 degree up position and your down position is just slightly less. You can see that that's, that's a little bit less travel in the down position. So that's where you want, uh, that's where you want your travel to be and set up with I rig these um, typically at neutral. Uh, I know a lot of people rig them slightly down, a little bit of droop, but neutral seems to work extremely well with the interstate setup the way they have it. So go ahead and rig them neutral and, um, and that'll work fine. So check your travels both sides. Now, one of the couple of the things that go with these interstate cadets is that there's a stop up here on the, on the belt crank in the aileron. Make sure that your ailerons uh, run up against the stop and actually bang into the stop. They should be hitting the stop on both sides and check that to make sure that they're, um, they're if not right on, they're very close to your, uh, to your limits of the aileron travel. Originally, they only had one control stop for these ailerons and it was in the in the uh, off of the control stick, but when they had a wind gust banging these ailerons around, they decided to add a little bell crank stop up there, and that prevents these ailerons from getting uh, blown past um, 
uh, where their travel uh, would typically limit them. So check your stops in your wings and then in your fuselage you want to check your stop on the in the fuselage yeah. which which is down at the bottom uh, bottom of the stick then you want to check your stick stop and make sure that the down underneath the bell crank down here that the stop is actually hitting up against the uh, the stops that are welded into the fuselage and if you've got all of that set up, then um, your ailerons are rigged and you're ready to go.